Hey students, uh, this is Mr. Anderson. I'm going over this. Uh, this is pretty much a little tutorial. Um, it's a little bit more in depth than what the book goes into. Uh, you know, the engineering graphics. Uh, let's see, what's the name of this thing? <laughs> engineering graphics essentials with AutoCAD 2023 instruction. So, and there are videos available in the, the book as well. Um, in fact, there's uh, video tutorials for every AutoCAD lesson, it says. So I guess you would use the, uh, the code in the front cover of the book to access those. I have not used my code to access those because, well, I kind of already know how to draw this. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to show you how you would want to draw this. Now, forgive the terrible dimensioning, but this is basic, um, you know, it's it could be better, but, uh, you know, and this distance right here is the same as this line right here, okay? So, you know, if you click that and then right-click and look for quick properties, it tells you it's 29 right there, okay? So we're going to hit Escape and get out of that. So what I'm going to do, we can go up here and hit Line, okay? And that tells me I can start my line anywhere, which I would start it right over here. But I'm also going to show you, if you just type the letter L and enter, it automatically selects line. So there's line. I'm going to click there, and we're just going to lay the mouse over this away since we're going to be drawing and uh, going up and to the right for the rest of this until we get down towards the bottom. But anyway, so we're going to, the first thing you're going to type is going to be the at symbol. So that's, you know, you hold down the shift key and you hit the number two along the top of your keyboard. That gives you the at, same at that's in your email address, okay? Uh, next, the next number for in a Cartesian coordinate is going to be your left or right uh, length, okay? So since we're not going left or right, we're only going straight up, we're going to hit zero. And then we hit comma, and then we're going to hit 13 and enter. And there's our 13. The next one, since we don't know the angle it's going, but we do know the length it's going up and the length that's going to the to the right, we can do this. We can hit at, and then since it's moving 20 to the right, we're going to hit 20, comma, and then we're going to hit 7 because it's going up 7. And there we go. Okay. And then from that point, it's going back up, well, five because we had to subtract the 20 from the 25 and that gives us five so we're going to hit at and we're not going left or right so it's zero comma five enter uh, next we're going nine past the 20 so okay so that's going to be at and it's going to be nine since that's the left and right movement okay well, it's actually to the right. If it was left, it would be a negative number, okay, which we're going to hit towards the end. Uh, so that's going to be 9, and then comma, then 0, because it's not going up. All right there. Now we're going to uh, go straight down. Let's see, 25 minus 8, that's uh, 17, right? Yes, that's 17. So... We're going to hit at, and we're going to say zero, comma, minus 17, since we're going down. Okay, see there? Uh, next, we're going to go eight, so it's going to be uh, eight, comma, zero. So that's at 8 comma 0 and then we're going to go straight down 2 okay so that's going to be at uh, 0 comma negative 2 and then we're going to go let's see across 8, but to the left, 
and we're going down six. So that's going to be at, and that's going to be a negative eight, comma, negative six. There we go. And then the last number is at, and it's going to be 29. Actually, it's going to be negative 29. Glad I caught that. You want to look like a conehead, comma, zero, since it's not going up or down. And there we go. So I can hit escape, and that's it. So now, just to cop or just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes, I'm going to copy this to this corner. Right like that, and yeah, it is identical. So that's how you would do that, okay? Now, since this was six minutes long, I'm going to show you how to do the polar. I drew this up earlier, too. And this is a really terrible dimensioning job, but... <laughs> Uh, we'll get past it. We'll get through this, okay? Um, in fact, I'm going to... I did this in annotative dimensioning, so I'm going to make those smaller so they're not so cluttersome, okay? And my squeaky chair as I move around. Uh, anyway, so what we're going to do first is we're going to find a spot. We're going to click right there, okay? So what we do is we have to, um, with the polar, like I said, it's, it's the length of the line, and then we type in the angle symbol, which is the key next to the letter M, okay? So it'll be shift, and then the key next to the letter M. Otherwise, you'll end up with a comma, which you don't want to have the comma, because there's no commas in the um, polar coordinates, okay? So let's go ahead and start this one. At, so the first length, and we're starting at this corner, okay, and we're going clockwise. Sometimes the book has you do them counterclockwise, and uh, yeah, it's whatever the book says is the best way to do it because I'm used to seeing the uh, coordinates, um, and the plan is for you to write out the coordinates that you're using, okay? So that's why I made these drawings completely different from what the assignments are, but it has a lot of the same uh, material, okay? So, the first one is at 15, angle, and 60. So there's that. The next one is at 10, angle, 90, because straight up is 90 degrees. Okay, now, we have a 45 degree angle there, and it's going 9. So, but, the thing is, the 45 is off of a straight up, okay? So, if we had a horizontal line there, it would also be 45 degrees. So, you have to keep that in mind. So what if it's if it's straight up if the line is is being measured straight you know from the straight up you need to subtract the number shown the angle shown from 90 and it'll still give you 45 so we're going to hit at 9 angle 45 and there's that next we have a 20 so at 20 angle now, since this is going straight down, you can either type in negative 90 or 270. So I'm going to hit 270. And there's that. Now, the next thing, it's, it's being taken off of the, uh, the 90 degree. So let's go ahead and get at 10 angle. So 120. Uh, and you subtract um, subtract 90 from that, and that's going to give you 30. But since it's going down, and it's below 
what would be considered zero, it's going to be a negative 30. So we're going to hit uh, negative 30. And there we have it. Now the next one is going to be, okay, that's, that's at 105 degrees. So that's going to be 80, let's see. No, 70. Wouldn't that be 75? Yeah, that should be 75 because we're subtracting um, because 180 would be a full arc, okay, from the, a horizontal line, all right? So if we subtract the 105 from 180, uh, that gives us one, or that gives us 75. So we're going to go at 4.5 angle 75. Oops, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, um, if I hit control Z, it's going to erase everything I've done. So what I have to do Oh, it might let me do oops. Oops. Is it going to let me do oops? No, nope, it's not going to let me do oops. So, I'm going to do something I told you uh, you shouldn't do. Uh, so, I'm going to hit this right here. And we're back where we, well... Or we just messed up. Okay, so that needs to be, um, well, if it's upside down, then that would be a negative 105. Okay. See, I just drew this up, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So please forgive me for that. But at least you can see that the teacher screws up sometimes. So we're going to hit at uh, 4.5 and angle negative 105. And that's what we needed right there. So next one is at 21.36 and angle 180. And that brings us back to the start. So I can zap that guy into oblivion. And copy this. Just to show you that I did not. See there? Everything is covered. So, yeah. So, other than me not paying attention... <laughs> I think we did pretty good. <laughs> so keep that in mind. It's really easy to to goof up, um, especially, you know, if you had an angle um, pro or a, 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 yeah, a protractor, a round circular protractor, that would really help you, like a degree wheel, okay? So just remember that the, Zero is here, 180 is here, if you're working on this drawing, okay? And then 90 is here, and then, you know, uh, 275, 270 is here, all right? So there you have it. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it clears up some questions. But, uh, yeah. And then when you go to turn in the works for... Um, uh, I believe it's uh, P2-1, P2-2, and P2-3. You can type out, uh, you can do it here, or you can type it out on a Word document, um, anything like that, okay? Uh, just make sure, you know, you can use your annotative. Uh, this is, that would probably be too small. I don't know what size, that's annotative text, so... It's hard to say what that really, what the true size of that is. Well, I can find out here. Let's do this. 
we'll just take a line from there to there, and that's three quarters. Yeah, that's 0.774 is the height of that. So, but it's going to vary on the size of what you're doing. Okay. Anyway, good luck. I hope this helps. If it causes more confusion, please let me know, and I will delete this video. Because the last thing I want to do is cause more confusion. Okay? But good luck to you, and keep me posted. Take care.